The worst one is when you get, you'll be driving down and you'll hear this ding, and then you'll look and there's a giant insect stuck on the antenna and you'll be sitting there. <laughs> going, Gross. And then, yes. And you're, yes. On a, you're on a highway and you're, fl- and you're flying down the highway and you're like, I don't want to have to stop to get rid of that. And you're like, <laughs> you're like two, three hundred miles down the road and he's still there. And you're like, <laughs> <laughs> Kevin's got a brand new Scorpion antenna. Can I hook that to the luggage rack of my SUV? Yes. Talk about not going to drive throughs or car washes, but yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's one of those. If you, if, you, if you're going to put massive antennas on the top of your car, you, you have to be compromising where you're going. Right. Underground parking garages you can't go to. Yeah. Uh, if you're going to get something like that, then mount it in a way where it's going to flex if you ever hit anything, if you can. Mm-hmm. So a lot of those HF antennas will, you know, they'll be like a, a, a whip on top of a big loading coil like the screwdriver antenna or something, they'll bend over. Um, I, I love my six-meter antenna is just long enough that whenever I go under an underground parking garage and it hits things, it only bends it back a little bit. But because it's stainless steel, it makes a big racket yeah. throughout the whole parking <laughs> yeah. garage. So I'll be going <laughs> through <laughs> underneath and all the concrete pillars and all the signs would be bang, bang, bang. And everyone's looking around going, What's this idiot doing? This is bang, bang. Yeah, the, and there's one. The, that's great. There's one parking garage where the roof is exactly the right height for it to not actually spring back, so it's just. <laughs> as it goes I guess so. The, the, the Scorpion antenna mine. is a lot like the ATAS, only bigger and and stronger. Mm-hmm. It's it's about the size of a of a Coke can, and it's a screwdriver type antenna. So if you put that on the roof rack of your SUV. Be prepared to take it off frequently or have a, uh, a tilt-over mount. I believe it. it's Breedlove that makes a motorized tilt-over mount for that. So you just push oh, a button. That would be cool. That probably that costs more than the tail light. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah it huge. probably does. Yep. Yeah. You don't want to. You don't want to break. You don't want to break this. That's that's right. that's a bad day. Yeah. No, you're going to go under the overpass and your truck's going to go like this. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Give us, give us your best, uh, yeah, your best mobile um, antenna accidents because uh, we've just had Gary talking about his DX commander on the tow bar mount catches stuff, and Scott took out fluorescent tubes with uh, with an eleven meter antenna. <laughs> What's that? One I mean, that, it's uh, funny. It's James funny has? when you hear other people doing about it. <laughs> yeah, when you hear it, you hear other people's stories. Yeah, but not yours. Funny. That's that's really bad. You were asking about worse antenna accidents? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, dear. That's uh, that's horrible. Did the antenna survive? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Jim asking the serious questions. Well, I mean, yeah. birds, I've whatever. Had, There's had, a billion of them. Who cares? But.